Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, I'm on lunch. Yeah, I've got about 20 minutes, so I'm going to have to go, Mum. Yeah, I'll speak to you later. Bye. Bye. Excuse me, um, do you um, want that sandwich, then? Sorry, are you talking to me? I'm sorry, do, do you want that sandwich? Uh, no. No, that's all right, you have it. I've well, got to... Uh, please, sit, sit down. You don't have to worry about me, I'm not, I'm not going to... <laughs> <laughs> Mm. But I do have to get back to work mm. anyway. It's good. <laughs> I had a job once. No, more than a job. Oh. <laughs> I think I did. No, I did, really. Not so long ago. Yes? Hello? Yes? Hello? Yes? Oh, I was told to come at 12.30. Uh, Alexei Ivanovich Falonov, the piano tutor. Oh. That's yeah, nice. Sir? Uh, the fountain, it's, uh, it's nice. Not a lot of people have uh, a, well, a fountain. Or a courtyard. It's very... This way? Oh, yes. Right. After you, sir. Uh, thank you. Please, have a seat. Follow me. Mr. Zagorodianski will see you now. I'm sorry, who are you? Piano tutor. Wait. Sir. How many times did I tell you not to bring people in when I'm on phone? I'm sorry, sir. Da! So, Masa Sholia Prezvanyo. Yes? Yes? Well? Don't just stand there. Ah, here is my diploma from the Tchaikovsky Conservatory of Music. Uh, this is my certificate, first place in the piano competition in Vienna. Uh, after which I got a scholarship to do masters at the Royal Academy of Music. Uh, I'm now doing practice-based research uh, just to prolong my visa. Uh, whilst I haven't got a huge amount of experience in teaching, uh, I've got my press cuttings here. Da. No. No. Yes, I told you. Do it then. Right, your hours are Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 5 p.m. You start tomorrow. Oh, I, I don't know if that's possible. Actually, yes, I think that's possible. My daughter has exams next year. How old is she? Ten. I need to get her into a top school, but she's lazy. Blake, what can I do? <laughs> Uh, would you like her to do the grades? Mm, she needs to work hard to give her some discipline. Blake! Oh, and talk about Russia. They might ask at her interview about her background. She doesn't know anything about Russia. Blake! No one does anything in this house. Come. Excuse me, I hope you don't mind me asking, but how did you um, hear about me? An English friend attended the recital you gave. I don't do many of those. But you will, because you have talent, huh? That's very kind. Uh, there's just one thing. Yeah? We haven't actually spoken about... Uh, I just wondered what terms I would be... Uh, My office will deal with that. Ah, right. No problem. Uh, 
It's a beautiful house, like a palace. Nothing works. <laughs> Nothing works. Everything is falling apart. I paid top price for this crap. The handles are not fitted properly. The lights, they keep going off every two seconds. Look at these curtains. I like them. Cheap silk. It's all surface. And even there, this is such poor finish. Come closer. This is latest smart TV. Does it work? I don't know. It doesn't. Why? Um, it's not working because it's not wired in. Because behind it there are no wires. Because those crooks didn't even bother to make it right in the first place. What am I supposed to have? A hole in the wall now? Tell me. Uh, no, no. Exactly. Come, now it's time to meet my daughter. You are not thinking clearly. Papa! Ah, Paulina, this is Alexei Ivanovich Filonov. He is a famous Russian pianist. He is here to teach uh, Vika. Alexei, my stepdaughter, Paulina. Uh, pleasure to meet you. And my associate, Francois Le Grier. <laughs> Quite. Francois is fond of enigmatic statements, Alexei Ivanovich. That way he never has to answer for anything he says or does. N'est-ce pas, Francois? To the contrary, I am always most precise. As far as money goes. How far does money go, Francois, once it ends up in your pocket? <laughs> That's enough, Paulina. I'm sure Alexei Ivanovich would like to meet Vika now. Perhaps he would. Hmm? Would what? Take him to her. Francois, since you're here, uh, maybe we should have that meeting. Hmm? Uh, of course. Hmm. I'm at your service, Mikhail. Excuse me, Paulina. We shall talk later. Uh, Mr. Filonov. Pompous French pig. Excuse me? Why? Uh, Do you need to be excused for something? No, I... Uh, you are... Perhaps I could meet Vika. Victoria? Yes. Was he bothering you, that man? That's really none of your business, Mr. Piano, teacher. No, of course not. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I... We seem to have got off on the uh, wrong foot, as the English say. And what will be the right foot? It means... I know what it means. Come. <clears throat> Vika is in the cinema room watching Twilight or some rubbish like that. Ah, yes. Those dreadful American films. I like American films. Oh, I, I didn't mean... Um... I hope you're better teaching the piano than conversation. And yes, he was bothering me. What? Oh, the Frenchman. So what are you going to do about it? <laughs> Challenge him to a duel. <sighs> This way. Vika, here is your piano tutor. Come on. Another one. Hello, Vika. Sorry for interrupting your movie. She knows it backwards. She knows them all. I hate me last longer than the last one. Excuse me. I have something worthwhile to do. Oh, dear. What? I think she likes you. Didn't seem that way to me. Well, it never does, then. Bang, you're in love with her. Perhaps we should talk about our lessons. Oh, love is more interesting than lessons. Aren't you a bit young to be uh, interested in... Um... I'm ten, and ten is the new sixteen. Besides, it's inevitable. Love? Everyone does, with Polina. You see, the frog... Francois. So you've met him. He says he's an aristocrat and has a chateau in France. You don't think he has? I don't care if he has. Then there's Astley. You'll meet Astley. Astley? He knows everyone. And he's in love with her too. So is Mulligan. Mulligan? Please stop repeating my words. It's extremely bad manners. He's Papa's driver. He was a soldier. I like Mulligan. I think I might like you too, but it, it won't save you. Save me? S sorry, I... From her. Come on. I'll walk you to the door. We can go this way, it's quicker. You could get lost in this place. I'd rather live in a flat on top of the highest tower in London. Then I could see the whole world spread out below me. You're clever, aren't you, Vicar? Stop. Wait. I don't have time for caution. Can't you see that? Let's make time. I think Papa is Francois Money. I think that really they hate each other. I think you start tomorrow at five o'clock. They make sure all my evenings are full. 
Hungry Girl. Papa. <laughs> so everything is fine. Agree. Great. Black. Black. He's smoking a cigarette out the back. He thinks we don't know. He sucks mints. I was told English butlers are the best. I ask you, Alexei, what is the point of having butler who never comes when I call? <laughs> Alexei Ivanovich, you may kiss me in the Russian manner. Um, <laughs> don't trust any of them. She's very bright. Da. Let me show you out. Thank you. Oh, do you have a coin? Uh, uh, yes. 20 pence, too. Thank you. A coin in fountain. It will bring you luck. You could have parked in courtyard. Where's your car? I don't have a car. What do you mean? I just don't have a car. Where's your house? I don't have a house. What do you mean? I live in a shared flat. So is, is that what musicians do? I suppose some do. <laughs> How did you get here? By tube. Ah, I have never been on tube in London. I don't like small spaces. Too claustrophobic. I am a man of large spaces. I'm a man of small wallet. What? <laughs> ah, that's good. That's funny. You're something. <clears throat> da. Ah, Mama. Did you read my proposal? Just a minute. We are done, yes? Thank you. Goodbye. Uh, yeah. Right. Mama, so are you going to send the money? Mama, I'm sorry you don't trust me. I just wanted to keep walking. What did these people understand about artists, about music? I hated them and their new money. So full of themselves. Well, it, it takes a certain skill to rob Russia. I decided then that I wasn't going back. I would never go back. Ah, Mr. Blake. You opened the gate before I rang. What are you watching for me? Miss Victoria is in the music room. Thank you. I can find my own way. I have a good sense of direction. Very good, sir. If I may, sir, hmm? it is not generally considered necessary to preface the butler's name with Mr. What? Blake will do it, sir. Whatever you prefer, Blake. See? With feeling. With color. Now you. Taupe. Not a very nice colour at all. A bit like your sweater. Where does it come from? Poundland. Vika, please. Huh? This is music. Try to hear the difference. How about uh, shocking pink? I have nail polish in that colour. When I put it on, my nails are shockingly pink. I know how to do that, but to make music into colour, I don't know how. Play louder, softer, faster. Mm, with your heart. Feel it. My heart doesn't have fingers. How many times do we have to go over it? Until you hear it. Enjoy it. Live it. Why did you tell me not to trust anyone yesterday? Because it was Tuesday. I never trust anyone on Tuesday. What are you joking? I never joke on any day of the week. I had maths yesterday. Vika. I hate that woman. She spits when she talks and has more stubble than Mulligan. I'd better be going too. What were you playing just now? What was it? Oh, just a, a piece I wrote. You composed it? It's a practice piece for... Um... Practice? Yes. Would you play it again? Please.
beautiful, Alexei. Well, I... You, you really do have a talent. I wish... What? <laughs> I, I wish I could do something. I don't understand. Something beautiful, like you. Write something like that. But you are beautiful. I, I'm sorry, it's not my place to... I mean, surely you could uh, study, uh, do something, be something. <laughs> no. I'm a prisoner here. You mean you can't leave? Of course I can leave. I can walk to the gates, but I, I'd still be a prisoner. We all have a choice, surely. A prisoner of circumstance. Do you have a choice? Would you be here if you didn't need the money? Well, no, but uh, now it's different. How? It's hard to explain. At first, uh, I thought I wouldn't come back, but uh, there are reasons. Um, well, I... If I ask you to do something for me, would you? Of course, yes. I mean, anything. Well, anything that I can do. I mean, you, you only have to ask. Yes? Sorry, didn't know you was here, miss. The boss asked me to give Alexei a ride home. It's all right. I, I can... Nice car. Uh, Mikhail uh, has a lot of cars. Does, uh, does he collect them? So have you worked for him long? Uh, where are they from, uh, the family? You've got a lot of questions, Mr. Filanov. I didn't mean to be nosy. Krasnodar. What? That's where they're from, the family. A very patriotic place, I hear. Oh, yes. Uh, Vika said you were a soldier. She's a nice kid. Lonely, no friends, see? All she does is schoolwork all day, every day. She needs to get out more. Uh, the, her sister, um, Paulina? Does Paulina have... Uh, does she work? Have a job? Does she study? She helps out around the place. Helps in Mikhail's business. Um, what, what business is it exactly that he does? Is this it? Uh, yes, thanks. Goodbye. stood there as that vast car swept away and I looked at the building where I had a tiny room on the top floor barely space for an upright piano for practice I looked at my life 30 years old a couple of recitals in local halls always living on the edge of being broke living on the edge of hope did I have any right to look down on these people? maybe I'd been unfair arrogant and I thought, I too was a prisoner of circumstance, but now I had been given a chance. A chance for something better. I'm afraid Miss Vika is unwell today, Mr. Falanoff. Ah. If you go back towards the gate, I'll buzz it back open. Please, have someone call me in future. Yes, I'm a busy man. Today I could have been... <laughs> How's Vika getting on? Um, fine. She's certainly got talent. But will she pass the exams? Well, if she keeps... Um, she has strong opinions and she's not always... She needs to work harder. Make her work harder. Mm. It's a very competitive market out there, babe. You can see by all so, I recognize her. Who? Katie. Go through it. Go with it. What do you think? She's a... She has... Isn't she? Yes, baby, you are it. That. Mama, it's so good to hear your voice. Did you... No, no, I'm busy. You know I'm busy, but I always have time for you. Just a minute. Da. Francois, stop worrying. You're not a pauper yet. Huh? The loan will be paid in time. 
No, I, I'm on other line. Uh, yes, tomorrow. Mama, sorry. So, the money. I know, but money makes money. I, hmm? Yes, yes, I know you will. So, I've been waiting for it. No, no. Katie is stunning, yeah? Oh? Oh, yes. She's coming to dinner tomorrow. I'm introducing her to some of my friends. It will be the first time. <laughs> Have you heard of Inokienti Belusov? I don't think so. He's big, just bought into Hermes. You didn't read about it? I don't read the financial pages. He's a very good friend. And Francois will be there. And James Ashley. Do you know James Ashley? He's a friend of Paulina's, isn't he? He's a friend of everyone. <laughs> no. No. Wait. Alexei, I would like you to come to dinner tomorrow. T -t tomorrow? Um, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. I, I would love to. To play piano for my guests. I will pay, of course. Oh, of course. Um, actually, I haven't as Good. yet. If... The office will handle it. Uh, excuse me, I must take this call. Of course. Um... Da. Da. Good news. Alexei. What's wrong? Your father just insulted me. He insults everyone. Why should you be any different? And he's actually my stepfather. What did he do? He invited me to dinner tomorrow to play the piano. He says he'll pay me. Well, you need the money, don't you? That's the insult. But it's hardly his fault, is it? It's yourself you're angry with. And you'll come. It'll be interesting. His slut will be there. Katie? Yes. And this uh, friend of his, Ino Kenti? There you are. You can't miss it. The man's a bear and his wife is a bitch. Mikhail wants to be in a Kenti, but he isn't, and it hurts him. And Mr. Astley, too. Uh, another of your admirers. I want you to do something for me. Hello. Uh, I would like to discuss a thing, please. Which ring were you interested in, sir? I wanted to sell a ring, not buy one. You do buy all jewelry. It says so on the window, if it's worth anything. All right. It's uh, rubies set in lapis. Yeah, I, I know what it is, what it pretends it is. Wait. Are you always this rude? Only when you people bring in another piece of rubbish and try to pass it off as something good. What do you mean, you people? You. Poles, or whatever you are. I'm Russian. Well, I'll give you five thousand pounds for it. That's ridiculous. It costs twenty thousand. <laughs> well then, fifteen thousand. Five. Ten. I'm not going below ten thousand. Five. Take it or leave it, sir. I hated that. The way they look at you, judge you, cheat you. They think all Russians are rich and all they want to do is steal their money. I was a concert pianist, an artist. I didn't care about money, about that world. I decided then that I would give Polina the money and that I wouldn't go back again, even though I wanted to see her, to be with her. I was fed up with being used by her and the rest of them. But then... Uh, yes, hello? Hello, Mr. Fernov? Yes. Ah, François Le Grieux. I wonder, Mr. Fernov, if you would care to join me for a coffee. I'm a little short of... Don't worry, I'll pay. <laughs> South Kensington Coffee Village. I believe it's near your college. In half an hour, yes. Short of time. Ah, you are. Well, shall we shake hands? Like the English are supposed to? Mm. Mm. Mademoiselle? How do you like your coffee, Alexei? Uh, Earl Grey tea, black with lemon. Et pour moi, un espace. Merci. Okay. I thought, my friend, 
since we are both friends or friends of ours, you see what I mean, that we should meet. Uh, how did you get my number? <laughs> you see, you did grow up under communism. So suspicious, you Russians. I asked, La Petite? Of course, she knows everything. Vika. Or perhaps I asked Mikhail. It's not a state secret, is it? I'm not in trouble, am I? <laughs> I just wondered, that's all. If Polina Alexandrovna gave it to me. No, she did not. Here you are. Merci. Why did you ask me to meet you? I'm actually extremely busy. I have a doctorate to finish. In which case, perhaps a more interesting question might be here. Why did you take the time to come? Hmm. I make uh, good coffee here. Where is your Earl Grey? Fine. Fine. Another question. Have you ever been to the Cathedral of St. Basil at the Kremlin? I've seen it. Everyone's seen it. Have you been inside? No. Well, from the outside, it's a magnificent structure, all those onion domes and towers. But inside, there's not a great open space you might expect. It's full of tiny chapels of corridors and cells and passages and steps and little windows so everyone can spy on everyone. It's a labyrinth. Paranoia cast in stone. Why are you telling me this? It was built by Tsar Ivan the Terrible. And when it was finished, he had the architect killed. I sometimes think the pleasure of an espresso lies not in the taste, but in its brevity. I sometimes think the French are a nation of complete assholes. You speak from the heart for once. I shall return the compliment. You are involved in something far deeper and more dangerous than you can imagine. Don't meddle. Get out, my friend, while you can. I'm not your friend, and I have no intention of getting out of anything at all. Did you give my mobile number to Francois? You've been wanting to ask that question ever since we started today. Did you? To Aro? I shouldn't think so. Aro? Leader of the Voltari. Bad vampire. Very bad. He can read your thoughts, you know. Once he's touched you. Twilight again. But you do love her, don't you? Just like the rest of them. I think your sister is a... Um... Look, I have to go. They need to move the piano. Will you study these exercises for next time? She'll never let you sleep with her, you know. For God's sake, Vika, you're ten years old. No, I'm a thousand years old, and I've seen so much. Go on, go play for them. James Astley, a friend of the family, I suppose. I'm glad you liked it, Mr. Astley. Chopin, so you know your music. I was at that little recital you gave a couple of months ago in Hampstead. Oh, little is the word. You have a great talent. I didn't think anyone here would notice. What a fascinating gathering, don't you think? <laughs> you see us Russians as specimens? I hope I see everyone as a human being and enjoy the diversity. For instance, observe Mikhail and Inakenti Belusov together. Diversify, my friend, and grant your managers more responsibility. But then you have to trust them. Mikhail must preserve respect for the richer man, but also show off his own possessions. Did he listen? Inakenti's wife. Have a fall and break his leg? Is he on crutches? How is your leg? I was very sorry oh, to yes, hear. Yes, yes. I wish everyone would stop talking about my bloody leg. It's nothing. <clears throat> anyway, as for trusting people in business, I say find someone, anyone, a manager, and make an example of them, crush them, and encourage the others. Hmm. 
No love lost between Mikhail and Inakenti. Mikhail, where is this lovely lady you promised us? Uh, she's fashionably late, Masha. Yeah, you know these celebrities. Uh, they Mikhail thinks Miss Katie is his trump card. A beautiful young woman on your arm is currency to these folk. More drinks, anyone? Black? Black? Alexei Ivanovich, play, play. What am I paying you for? Actually, he hasn't paid me a thing yet. <laughs> Where is Katie? How should I know? Oh, hello, Astley. How is the low? Cesar? What happened to your leg? Oh, it doesn't matter, nothing much. Forget it. And how's Masha? Alexei, quick, quick, what I told you. Go on. No. In Akenti, I'd like you to meet the beautiful... Hello, everyone. Katie. So where did you get to? I was worried. Oh, you know, just... Masha, come and meet Katie. Katie, this is Masha, and this is In Akenti Belusov, my good friend. And this is Coco. Coco, say hello in Russian. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, darling, they're nice really, aren't you? I will leave you. I have to find Blake. Please, could you not look at her? Because she gets quite nervous around you people. A dog. You are bringing a dog to the... Coco, shh! She just gets lonely when she's left at home. I know the feeling. So, Katie, who are you? Oh, Katie's a regular on TV, Masha. She's a judge on Supermodel. That's very impressive. Please, Katie, take my car. Thanks. Always be selling, that's what we say in my business. Mm, mine too. What happened to your leg? <clears throat> too boring. Excuse me. Mikhail! Dasha, your skin is amazing. Thank you. I have someone. She fixes everything. What do you do? Just the basics. Fillers, Botox, hyaluronic acid, vitamin procedures, facials. Actually, I recently did this blue laser treatment for the skin under my chin. It used to be a little bit flabby, but now you see, it's all firm and straight. Yeah. I'd like to do my breasts. Brazil is the best. Is that a treatment? It's a country. How old are you? 26. You should take measures. Katie, my sweet. <laughs> How are you? Would have better have seen you, darling. Mm. <laughs> Shake hands with Coco. Ow. It's a dog eat a dog world out there, Francois. Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. Come on, Alexei. You can sit next to me. I get to eat, do I? I insisted. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't Coco be happier out here, Katie, my sweet? No, she would not, Mickey, and neither would I. And God forbid that Katie should be unhappy. Does anyone here actually like anyone else? I like you, Alexei. Come on. Or well, the caviar will be old or cold or something boring. Uh, Paulina, your ring. Later. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, millionaires... <laughs> Billionaire, I would like to make a toast um, to this city we have made our home. A city that has received us, wanderers, in the most friendly fashion. A city that we are, as are so many peoples, part of, where we make our lives and our business. But not just that. It's people like us make this city what it is today. Huh? Moscow on Thames. <laughs> so, to London. To London. As long as you can pay your way. Oh, Mickey never has any trouble with that, mm. do you, darling? <laughs> He's one of the most generous men I know. In a hint here, uh, tell me, uh, when were you last back home? I stay away from Russia, everything's changed. Even the kids need bodyguards to go to school now. Surely any of the children of the rich. Well, of course, why would I care about the rest? <laughs> I looked around me, at these people, and I thought, is any of this real? Very striker. It helped me make my first million. <laughs> first million? Oh, don't think I can remember that far back. <laughs> it was fake. All of it, fake. 
Then, as they broke up and went through for coffee and tea and more music from the piano player, I overheard a conversation. Mikhail and Inokenti. They were standing close to me, away from the others. Maybe I didn't count as a listener, or maybe like the children of the poor, I simply didn't matter. sense to my proposal, Inokenti. When did you meet Kate? A couple of months ago. You should join us in this. It's a great project. Where? What? Where did you meet her? Katie. A charity auction. What, for bankrupt Russians? Huh? I like her. She's nice. So, what about my proposal? It's solid, as I said. Well, who controls the money is solid, and, and you don't. It looks like your mother still calls the show. That will be sorted out soon enough, believe me. That's the trouble, Mikhail. I don't. Vicky, come and get a coffee. Yeah. Masha wants to know how we met. <laughs> I'll be right there. Yeah. <laughs> At least 20 million will be transferring across any time now. I'm putting together a new corporate infrastructure and I can promise you in 10 days everything will be in place. All right. We'll talk in a few days. Inokenti, I promise you won't regret this. I know. Just be sure you don't. Ashley, have you tried one of my Cuban cigars? You don't mind if we smoke here? Of course not. It's free country. I'm bored and I hate smoke. Come on, we'll take a walk. But the piano player is taking a break. Come on, you like this, truly. <laughs> Do you like it? Uh, the view. Up here, I can believe I'm free. You are free, if you want to be. You don't know anything about me, Alexei. I know I love you. Do you even know what love is? You're sounding like a heroine in one of those dreadful old Russian novels nobody reads now. I love you. I feel it. I, I know it with every breath. You are in my mind all the time. I don't even want anything from you. I just... You're just... The fact that you are in the world is so wonderful. It makes everything bearable. Now, who is sounding like a novel? <laughs> I feel as if I could jump from this roof, across the street, hey, into the park! No! Don't! You'll hurt yourself! I do it. Just say the word and over I go. But you die, Alexei. Say the word. Is this what it's like? Playing great music? Being part of something bigger? No. You are silly, sweet boy. Come. Sit down. I'm older than you. That could have been for you. I would have died happy. The point is not to die in this world. It is to survive. I sold your ring. I'm afraid I only got 5,000 pounds. I tried to negotiate, but... That's how they treat us here if we're not oligarchs like Inokenti Belusov. Here's the money. At least you'll have that if you need it. Five thousand. What can you do with that? I could do a lot. You see, you don't understand. How can you love someone if you don't understand them? Because that's not what love is about. It's about believing in someone utterly, no matter what they are or what they do. Or what they ask. Of course. Then keep the money. I want you to do something for me. Anything. Here. Mikhail and his friends use this place. Paulina... No, I, I can't. Then you never loved me. You can't love me. <laughs> Good night. Thank you so much for coming. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope your conversation with uh, you know, Kenti was fruitful. <laughs> but of course. <laughs> Love easy is always the care. Do congratulate your cook. Ah, oh, Paulina. <laughs> A pleasure. Mr. Filinov, you must call on me. I have a rather good piano that needs playing, or so they tell me. I wondered if I might call on you a little earlier, sir. I, uh, 
I need some advice. Of course. But are you leaving? Walk with me. Uh, thank you. I I'll catch you up. You'll see. I'll show you how much I love you. I know. I knew it all along. Alexei, thank you so much. You did very good. Well, I can't say I altogether approve, Lexi, if I may call you that. Uh, of course. It is a favor for someone. I, I want to do my best for them, and I have no experience at all. It can be dangerous. It takes men in different ways. I should think I'm proof against extravagance. But what about obsession? I've never seen myself that way. The musician's discipline of practice and study will keep me safe. Well then, I do have some experience. More as an observer than participant. Shall we say Friday this week? Thank you, Mr. Astley. Good night. Good night. Mr. Ashley? Good evening. Who are these people? Old money, new money, Russians, Arabs, Chinese, Indians. So why do they come here? To lose, to win, but most of all, the exclusivity. That's why they come. They just come to throw away their money. It's not about money. It's about the thrill. If I were going to give you one piece of advice only, I'd say this. Set aside a sum of money for your evening's entertainment. 500, 5,000, whatever. Be prepared to lose it. Enjoy the experience. I, I, I said 15. Why isn't my bet on 15, right. sir? No, I said 15. It should have been on 15. I was very, very sir, clear. Perhaps you would like to take up No, I would Thank not. You, sir. you don't understand. Please go with each other. Hands hands off me. How dare He didn't seem to be enjoying the experience. If you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it on one turn of pitch and toss and lose and start again at your beginnings and never breathe a word about your loss. Kipling, an English poet. Well, he can never be a Russian. We don't know what will happen tomorrow, so we spend carelessly. But we also need money, so we love to gamble. But then, since we don't plan like other people, we lose it all. If that's how you feel, my second piece of advice would be to turn around now and go home. Now I have to prove something to somebody. Somebody important? Yes. But don't worry, I won't be stupid or lose more than I can afford. So, I have my chips and... You can place bets on individual numbers. Or spread your risk by betting on sequences. Or you can bet on red or black or odds or evens. In each case, the odds match the risk. You can place bets while the wheel is turning, but once the croupier says no more bets, you cannot bet again until the wheel has come to rest and he's collected the losing bets and paid out winners. Thank you. Place your bets. Place your bets now, please. That's rather large. I feel lucky tonight. More bets. Thank you. Sixteen red. <laughs> oh, well... Close. Easy come, easy go. Is that not what they say here? I'll try 24. Look, why not take your time? Bet red or black. A higher chance of coming up. But lower winnings. No. 24. No more bets. <sighs> I can feel my heart beating. It's like playing Mozart at sight in front of the conservatoire. 24 black. <gasps> 15,000. <laughs> Impossible. That, 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 that's simply not real. It's real enough. Please, leave now, Alexei. Thirty-three. Twenty-eight black. Two hundred on the twelve. Reds. Three red. Think, Alexei, think. I think I'm beginning to get this. It's, it's like counterpoint. More 
traverses a system that you can glimpse through the complexity. Can you put on a uh, uh, six? No, uh, it's, five. It's five. mathematics, like like a fugue. Well, Vika, that was simply stunning. I'm amazed at the progress that you've made. In fact, it was so good that you don't have to bother with the rest of today's lesson. You can go to the multiplex. Alexei. Hmm? Oh, sorry, Vika, I was, um... Dreaming of your beloved Polina, I suppose. Why is everyone so gloomy today? Even Papa is moping about. He shouted at Blake, called him an idiot. Look, I, I, I tell you what, uh, take the rest of the lesson off, hmm? Go to the cinema or something, okay? What happened? Nothing happened. Why should anything happen? Excuse me. Look, I'm sorry, Victoria. It's not your fault. I, I just have to... don't understand. Is, is, is everything okay? You don't understand. What do you know anyway? I don't understand and I am supposed to know what is happening. I don't even know who to trust anymore. Has something happened? Everything is going down the drain. Everything. I can't even afford the basics. Not a... a, a loaf of bread. Yes, not a loaf. Not a crumb. But the business, the, the hotels and the houses and all, all the other stuff, you, you, your investments, the stocks. Enough. Don't you see? It's all money and it's all going the wrong way. It's going out, not coming in. And then there's Cyprus. Cyprus? So what planet are you on? They froze the banks. They froze my money. Don't they realize I have people, family, employees, people to support? They say it's criminal. I'll tell you what's criminal. Are you going to answer that? <laughs> da? What now? Speak clearer. The line is terrible. What? Dying? What? Coma? Yes, yes. Of course. Yes. Thank you. An accident in Russia. I couldn't... Um, it's a, a car and it's my, my mother is in a coma, they said. They said she's dying. Oh, God, I am so sorry, Mikhail. <laughs> Masiba, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, Mama, your last gift to your undeserving son. Are you flying out to... Oh, Give me the cool. phone. Should I call Polina, uh, Vika? That can wait. Inukiti, my friend. I'm calling to tell you that everything is fine. Why don't you come over? No, today, we can discuss things. Ah, you see, I was right. Everything is good, everything is fine. The sun is out, the bees are in the meadow, and I am in clover. Okay, see you then. Mm. <laughs> oh, нет, мамочка моя, не оплой. Alexei, where is your mama? How are you? How am I? My grandmother is dying in Russia, and... Well, she's not actually my grandmother, but... What about Vika? She's in her room. She's crying. At least her tears are real. A child's tears. 
That must mean something, mustn't it? Make up for Mikhail. He's in there now with that vile insect in a canty, and they're laughing and drinking and... He told me he was going to be ruined. Well, he isn't now. He's the only heir. He was always frightened of his mother. He'd never admit it, but whenever they were together, she treated him like a child or an idiot. He put up with it? He needed her money. But she was careful. She knew he wasn't really that good. He's not like in Akenti or the rest of them who are in gas or oil or any of those big things. His father traded grain. Mikhail always wanted to play in the big boy's game. I suppose he'll be able to do that now. With Katie on his arm? We are just property. That's all. Then come away with me. Now. Just walk out? Press the gate button and just walk out. I can't. You know that. I don't know that. Then you're an idiot. I can't leave Vika here alone. Then bring her. She's Mikhail's daughter. Oh, hadn't you thought of that? It would be kidnapping. Besides, how on earth... <gasps> you did it. You gambled for me. You have money now, do you? You think that'll change everything? No, I don't. You all do. I'm different. At least, I would be. I don't have any money. I lost it. What? It's gambling, Paulina. You can lose as well as win. You were supposed to be lucky. I'm sorry. I wanted to win for you, but it just didn't turn out that way. Last week you were going to jump off the roof for me, and now... But you know I'd do anything for you. Except win me enough money to get away from here. You don't need money. You just have to want to do it. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have shouted. Oh, the worm has turned, has he? Now you're angry with me because you failed. That's not fair. You have no right. Because that's not what love is about. It's about believing in someone utterly, no matter what they are or what they do. Someone said that to me a little while ago. I believe them. I was stupid. I could drown you in this bloody fountain. You twist everything. What do you want, Paulina? For God's sake, just tell me, what do you want? 4%, I think they reported as there. Oh, and that's just between the two of us, huh? <laughs> Go and kick in the Kentish crush out from under him. You're crazy. Paulina, ah, come and say goodbye to Inokenti. Do it. Now or never. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, how good to see you again, you know, Kenti Belusov. Mm -hmm. There's something I wanted to do. Yes, what is it? This. Oh, oh, what the hell do you think you're doing? You know, Kenti, I'm so sorry. Oh, stay away. Oh. Alexa, get out, get out. Oh, help me up. Oh. Malagan. Mikhail, what the hell is going on here? Um, Who is this relative? What is doing here? There's something wrong with him. He is artist. He's oh. mad. Alexa, get oh. out, get out. You know, can't you? Oh. Listen. Let me help you. Well, uh, there we oh. go. Is your crutch there? Okay. <coughs> there we go. Will there be anything else, sir? Yeah, you oh. can throw that lunatic out, Malagan. Oh. You can't. Oh, Let me help you. you. Don't touch me. Where is my car? It's right here. Oh. Let me. Oh. Open door. There we go. That's good. Let me give you some advice, Mikhail. Put your house in order. If you want my help, put your house in order. Ponyal Minya. Alexei, what the hell were you thinking? What have you done to me? What I've wanted to do since the moment I came into this house. You have it's no okay, idea. Boss. I've got him. Come on now. You people. On, you people, you don't know anything. Keep going now. Two balls, boy. I stood there, watching the gate close on me, watching Polina standing there, her, her face pale, her eyes burning with exultation, as the gap got smaller and smaller until it closed on me, shutting me out forever. Forever? <laughs> well, not quite. What about Polina? Ah, Polina. I'm going to see her. You know, this afternoon. That's why I'm here. I'm waiting. So what happened next? <sighs> oh. 
in Part 1 of The Russian Gambler by Dolly Gavansky, inspired by the novel The Gambler by Fyodor Dostoevsky, the part of Alexei was played by Ed Stoppard, Mikhail, Matthew Marsh, Paulina, Dolia Gavansky, Vika, Isabella Blake Thomas, Astley, Graham Seed, Francois, Orlando Seal, Katie, Lucy May Barker, Inokenti, George Lasher, Masha, Irina Karacheva, Mulligan, Jay Taylor, The Office Worker, Alana Ramsey, and Blake, Timothy Walker. The script editor was Mike Walker, and sound design was by Steve Bond. The music was performed by Sasha Putnam, and the original music was also composed by Sasha Putnam. The Russian Gambler is directed by John Dryden and is a Goldhawk Essential production for BBC Radio 4.